This is the best stock keyboard in 2023 and it only costs $35, but I'll still mold it. This is a Sugar 65 from, I don't know how to pronounce this, so Google, help me out. Why cat? It's a Chinese company that made a lot of budget keyboard. Um, okay, that's a lot. Next is the unboxing. <laughs> Inside we have the keyboard. There's a total of five colors. Pink, gold, purple, silver, and last but not least, black, which is what I have here. Next is a manual and an accessory box. Inside the box we have keycap and switch puller, a plastic cable which belongs in the bin, and a hex key. Let's have a look at the keyboard. The first thing I see are these two switches from the keyboard. Let's take the switch out and see what it sounds like. For $35, you will have a 65% layout with a knob. The Sugar 65 is made out of 6063 aluminum, which give it a matte looking board. But it is very easy to scratch. Don't worry though, you can still rub it off. For the plate, we have FR4. And if you look a bit closer, we can see that there's flake cuts everywhere. The flake cut and the gasket mount will give the keyboard a softer typing feeling. As you can see here, instead of the porn gasket, we have a silicone socks. Under the plate, we have the porn plate foam, PE foam, and this plastic thing. Now is the interesting part, the PCB. This is a south facing PCB, which will not be interference with cherry profile keycaps. But wait, look at the spay bar, it's north facing. This PCB supports a lot of layout, like a split spay bar or an ISO enter. And guess what, there's flakes cut in the PCB as well. Under the PCB, we have foam, which is good. The PCB is connected by a daughter board. This is really impressive for just $35. Okay, now that we are done with the review, it's time to mold it. But I wonder, since it came with so many accessories, will it sound good stocks? I will keep everything stock except the switch. For today, we're gonna use another switch from KTT, the KTT C Salt Lemon. Now I'm gonna put the switch in and let me just tell you, it is absolutely hell to put the switch in. Because of the flex cut from the PCB and the plate, it is impossible to put it in without opening the keyboard. I really do recommend you guys open up the keyboard. Start from the four corner first and work your way inside. The last thing we need to do is put the keycaps in. I'm using Echo White on Black building blocks. This video is not sponsored by Echo, but you know, Echo, sponsor me. Nope. In this keycap set, we have 282 keys, which means it supports all layout. And you can do a lot of configuration, like all black, simple, or colorful like this. I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm gonna be a little bit different today, because next up is a sound test. Now I can take things in my own hand, but I'm gonna be honest, this is the best stock sounding keyboard I have ever owned. So I will only do some little touch to make it perfect. The stock keyboard is kinda quiet for my own liking, so I'll do my favorite mode, tape mode. Next, I wanna see what is the difference between the packaging PE foam and the one that came with the keyboard. I like the keyboard one more. I don't know, something about it just better. Let me know in the comment which one do you like more. For any aluminum keyboard, I recommend you guys do the force break mode. Shout out to keyboard for create such a good mode. Force break mode make your aluminum keyboard stop pinging like a bell. <clears throat> key drunk key on. For the stabilizers, as you guys can hear in the sound test, the stabilizers sound almost perfect. Everything sound great, except one most important one, the space bar. But don't worry, I'll still mold every single stabilizers because I'm not lazy. Um, because I'm too lazy. Because I'm not lazy. What? Turns out the stabilizer sounds good because they loop them. Like the loop that you can actually see it. Pre-loop stabilizers are really good for those who want to use the keyboard stop. No. But for those who want to mold it, 
It is a pain to clean it, especially when you want to do holy mode. It is literally even worse than looping switches for hours. Okay, maybe not that, but it's for sure at the top of the list. And yes, I'm doing holy mode, wire balance, and loop again. Nobody can stop me from doing this combo. It is perfect together. The last changes I'm gonna make is the keycaps from this to this. Now that we're all set for the sound test, let's go! Overall, this is a great keyboard without molding. The Sugar 65 is a great beginner keyboard. But guess what? You can't buy it because it's a group buy. To end the video, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you because we passed a thousand subscribers. Love you all and see you in the next video.